Hi, welcome back to BusyBots. Thanks for stopping by. In this next video of the series, we'll take a look at installing the Arduino software and also the RAMPS firmware that you can upload to your RAMPS board. We'll start by going to the Arduino homepage. All of the links will be included in the video notes below the video. And once you're at the Arduino, you can come here. There's a lot to read, but we'll go straight to the download link. Uh, today I'm running uh, on a Mac, OS 10, version 10.8.2. This is a Mac Mini the i7 version with 16 gigabytes of RAM and come right here to the Mac OS 10 link and I've already downloaded the file it's about 205 megabytes and while that's downloading let's go take a look at Marlin here's your URL to come to GitHub and the quickest way to get started with GitHub is go straight to this zip I've already downloaded it it's pretty small so you come straight to the zip, just download the zip, it'll pop in here. And in order to use the Arduino software, I recommend you enjoy, uh, drag it into your applications folder. Just drop it in there. And it's a Mac, so let's be nice about it and put it on our dock. So take the Arduino and let's drop it down in the dock somewhere, put it right here on the end. And when I come back, I'll show you how to open up Marlin in your new Arduino software. To launch Arduino, come down to the dock, click. An Arduino file is called a sketch, and we're going to open Marlin, or the Marlin sketch. Come up to file and open. And the file you're looking for is the PDE file. So here's what we downloaded previously. Come to marlin.pde, open it up. It opens a new sketch of Marlin. We can close the original sketch, that's blank. We don't need anything there. And there's a lot within Marlin. Most of the changes, you can see each of these tabs is a section where you can edit. Most of the changes happen in configuration.h. The basic steps are you make your changes, verify the, the code, and upload it to your Arduino board. Well, that's it for today. That should give you enough to download Arduino and open up the Marlin sketch and start taking a look. In a later video, I will hook up a ramps board to a power supply with some motors. We'll make some configuration changes to Marlin and upload those changes. And we'll use Pronterface to make some movements on the motors. Well, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I appreciate a, a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, click the subscribe button right here. And you'll be notified of new videos on 3D printing. Thanks again for watching.